Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And the next movie I'm going to be reviewing for you is called Chopping Mall. And this movie was released on March 21st, 1986. It is a sci-fi horror comedy film that has a 5.6 out of 10 on IMDb. Now the movie had a $800,000 budget. I don't have no box office numbers or anything, but uh, if it was released to theaters, it definitely should have made its money back. But it was directed and co-written by Jim Monoski and co-written by Steve Mitchell. And uh, <clears throat> the movie stars Kelly Maroney, Tony O'Dell, Russell Todd, uh, Carrie Emerson, Dick Miller, and Barbara Crampton. <clears throat> this movie is about... Uh, you got three malfunctioning um, security droids that are terrorizing a group of uh, workers at this mall that are locked inside after closing. Um, once it's locked, they don't open up again till uh, sunrise. And so they're stuck in there, uh, got to defend themselves against these robots. And this movie uh, is very entertaining. Um, I love the look of the robots. I love uh, what they say after they kill somebody. It says, uh, uh, thank you, have a nice day. Uh, these robots, uh, they're programmed to ask for your ID and scan it to see if you work there. If you do, then they just go away. But they, of course, are malfunctioning. And after they kill somebody, they say, thank you, have a nice day. <laughs> I, I, I love that part. Um, it's nice seeing Dick Miller in this movie. Um, uh, some other familiar faces as well, especially uh, Kelly Maroney. Uh, you know her from Night of the Comet, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. She played the head cheerleader, uh, Servants of Twilight, um, uh, just to name a few. Uh, she, in my opinion, she's really good uh, as a final girl uh, uh, with her past work. And uh, I really enjoyed her in this movie as well. Um, I like the characters. Uh, the kills in this movie are really good. And initially, when this movie came out, it didn't get a lot of uh, praise from critics. But over the years, um, not only has it developed a huge cult following, but um, has been well liked uh, more by critics as well. Um, there's even talks of a possible remake uh, with this movie. Uh, so that ought to be interesting. But it does have a 56% on Rotten Tomatoes and also a 90% on Google. Uh, so yeah, the uh, uh, opinions of this movie have changed dramatically. And in my opinion, this was a great uh, sci-fi horror movie. This was another movie over the weekend that I absolutely enjoyed. Uh, this will be my third perfect score for a movie uh, for this past weekend. Uh, I'm going to give Chopping Mall a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. Definitely check this movie out. It is worth the time. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, with that being said, in the comment section below, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And did you like it, love it, hate it, do you think it's overrated? Let me know and let's have a great discussion about this movie. If you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this review, hit that like button. And don't forget to share this review on your social media as you see fit to. And subscribe. The more the merrier. I want to reach 1,000 before the end of the year. But um, that's just a long-term goal. I don't know if it will happen or not. But please do your uh, fair share and uh, share these videos. Uh, the more the merrier. I would love some more subscribers. And if there's ever a top 10 ranking movie review, TV show review, or trailer review you would like for me to do, leave that down in the comment section below. And as always, I thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Check you later.